quantum computing, once realized, is going to be absolutely transformative. This is the beginnings of a journey. If I have my way, we'll accelerate it enormously because we can see the huge potential. Our vision is to bring the ecosystem together to tackle some of the really complex challenges and computational problems facing society, and in particular to look at the challenge of scaling. Quantum economy now is quite diversified. You've got um, computing, but also sensing and comms and metrology. You really want to push the understanding and advance the technology in all of those platforms, right from the underlying physics upwards. We use the term quantum readiness to describe all those actions and activities that organizations need to undertake to be able to um, really uh, take advantage of the quantum computing technology. We're looking for an advantage that quantum computing can bring in real world applications over existing conventional computing approaches. In 2014, the UK set up a national quantum technologies program. That included elements of research and innovation. We're part of the research element of the program. The Quantum Computing and Simulation Hub is a partnership of 17 universities led by the University of Oxford. And our mission is to solve critical research challenges to make quantum computing a useful technology. So the QCS Hub is investigating more or less all different hardware platforms that have been proposed for quantum computing, starting with the field I work in, which are trapped ion qubits. We're also investigating superconducting qubits, which are another very mature and promising technology, but also to improve the interface between those of us who work on the hardware and those who work on the quantum software side of things right through to the end users who will ultimately be using future quantum computers. We've achieved great success in commercialization. So there have been more than eight spin-outs from the hubs. And we also had more than 50 projects with companies and academia helping to commercialize and innovate in, in the quantum computing space. My background is in the field of quantum memories and uh, every memory protocol has a, gets an acronym. So ORCA stands for Off Resonant Cascaded Absorption. Um, it's a technique for uh, storing and synchronizing optical operations inside a quantum computer. There was a lot of support within QCS uh, for technology transfer and commercialization. So that's allowed us as a, a quantum computing company in optics to grow really fast with great personnel and great industrial links. So the main issue right now is the, the problem of scaling, scaling up a quantum computer. So the particular goal that we are pursuing in our laboratory is to create several of these quantum computers and create entanglements in between them using photons to create a scalable quantum computer that can be connected in between them and where we can perform uh, distributed quantum computation, for example. Being part of the hub brings a lot to our research because it allows us to contribute and to interact with other teams pursuing similar objectives. So it creates the synergy necessary for going forward, which allows us to collaborate in, in a much better way with other teams. The UK has set up recently a national quantum computing centre really to push forward the development of quantum computing and in the future we will work together with them to translate some of the quantum computing technology. The National Quantum Computing Centre is really uh, filling a unique position in the landscape. We have great strengths in academia in quantum computing across the UK and we have a really vibrant startup sector for quantum computing and this centre will look to bring all of that together at scale with a long-term vision. This will be uh, the first national centre to tackle some of the key challenges in progressing quantum computing from where we are now, which is a very nascent technology. The hub focuses on early stage technology development across a broad range of hardware and software technologies. The National Quantum Computing Centre focuses on the industrialisation of quantum computing technologies for the benefit of the UK. Priorities for the NQCC are firstly establishing our position within the National Quantum Technologies Programme across the UK, developing our technology programme, establishing a quantum readiness programme, and particularly looking at user adoption and applications, and then finally skills and talent development and how we bring that talent into the NQCC and build our team. We're seeking to build a collaborative working environment where software developers can be co-located alongside hardware 
uh, developers and work in a highly integrated fashion. We also want to create the right environment for building, hosting and operating quantum computers in the future. At the same time, quantum readiness is becoming a more and more important theme for us. And we want to support potential end users of quantum computing on that journey from awareness to advocacy. So helping them to explore the potential applications of quantum computing as wide ranging as pharmaceuticals, logistics, the aerospace industry and telecoms. critical role for the NQCC as, as the technology grows and as we grow is to be able to deliver not just access to quantum computing resources but then also ensuring that industry across the UK has the right talent coming into the quantum computing that, that can really make the sector grow. Right now we're still in a stage where there's only a limited number of researchers that really understand quantum computing and can work towards building the hardware, the software and the algorithms. So at the NQCC, uh, we want to be able to support uh, everyone that wants to engage with the technology in developing the skills necessary to contribute towards it. And so we are developing a number of educational tools. These will range from interactive self-paced courses that will take uh, learners all the way from understanding the basics of quantum computing all the way to being, being able to program a quantum computer, but also uh, giving the, the people an understanding of the impact and the potential of the technology. The UK is a good place to do quantum computing. We have excellent science, we have a rich ecosystem of companies, of universities, we have an engaged government who has a real ambition to make the UK a quantum-ready economy.